So we're recording. The mics are on. Everything's good. Yeah. I have put my baseball cap back on because I'm confident I can sit here, wear a baseball hat, and not hit my microphone with it. So, new year, new me, everyone. I'm proud of you, man. I think you got this. <sighs> Thank you. I appreciate the the confidence. Um, you watching us at home can't see this, but across from Sandry and myself is a statue that Zach has brought up <laughs> multiple <laughs> times. <laughs> And the I statue or or the the head, the the sculpture, the oh, the head sculpture, the bust. Okay, so can you describe it? Um, if <laughs> if Dobby the house elf and Woodhouse from Archer like crashed into each other and and molded together, <laughs> that's exactly what this looks like. Only made out of what I can only assume is blue candle wax. <laughs> it's it's spottery clay. <laughs> <laughs> it's mesmerizing is what it is. It is. I've been staring at it yeah. the whole night and it's been staring at me. <laughs> I, that that was my first attempt at a clay sculpture. I think I think it turned out pretty pretty well. Yeah. I I, I want to display that in my home. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah. the, the I was I was obviously very happy, as you can see, with my frown on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he looks pretty distraught. <laughs> that was that same art class that um, I had to have mandatory counseling after my shenanigans <laughs> class. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I, did I tell after, you this? after the? Uh, are you talking about the the goat skull or? Yeah, yeah, I, I had I. They were like, "Oh, just draw anything, and we're going to elaborate on it." Because she's like, you, "Everybody sketch something, and then we add paint to it." And I drew a goat head that was like decapitated. And, and, <laughs> and, and, and this was third grade, fourth grade. Oh no, no, no! This was a uh, high school, a main okay. style. Oh Ma- come Ma- on! Ma- you had to have counseling for that. They, no, but because you know what happened, she's. Do you remember Miss Meyer, Bill? I never had her, but I knew okay. of her. Well, she. I don't know. Like, I can't explain it. She was very biased on. You can only paint this. You can only paint like. I can't explain it. It was like... Uh, so she was a terrible art teacher. Yeah, it was like, oh, everybody be themselves, but in only but only, only if this you way. adhere to these rules. Yeah. It can only be Picasso. Art is know. about discipline. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was it was weird. I don't know. It was a weird situation. So, so one day after she kind of like reported me for the goat head, she was like, <laughs> she's like all right, we want to make everyone feel, uh, you know, <laughs> like like they're equal here. Uh, so we're going to add some more art and we're going to let everyone pick a different playlist when we listen to music in class. <laughs> Today, since... So what, you played Guar? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, because me and my buddy wanted to make her feel uncomfortable because she's like really wrinkly and 70. We put on Hot for Teacher. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we were kind of we were kinda like fake, like when she'd walk around and try and look at everyone's drawing, we'd like fake try uh, and act like we're going to grab her ass. even Even though, I don't know. I she might like it. I think if if she was just being herself, we might get into some love relationship there. No, but uh <laughs> anyways, after that, I um yeah, I had to have like some mandatory counseling thing. And, it, and <laughs> <laughs> the, that, that transition is golden. Yeah, that, <laughs> it, oh, I wonder why. Well well <laughs> well, well the counseling it, it just it, it grows better and better because um I I really didn't want to talk to her at all. It was just straight up like Sopranos therapy session. I'm just sitting there like, all right, when the fuck is this going to be over? I have to stay an hour after class to listen to this shit because these people think there's something wrong with me. And uh, one day I was just like, all right, because she just kept trying to get into me for like three weeks. She's like, come on, Philip, tell me what's wrong. What's bothering you? What's... And I'm like, all right, I'll tell you. I lost a friend recently and it's it's hit pretty hard. I can't. It's been a friend that um I've it's they've been next to me every night i've been uh we had a lot of love together each night it's like wait a minute is this a is this some boy or girl in the school i'm like no it's a, it was a boy but it um it, they're not from this school it's like so are you are you gay i'm like no i'm not gay. he's like all right phil you need to stop it you're just messing with me i'm like no i'm serious it's like how did they die i'm like i don't know i've had them forever uh what was what what did it feel like how did what happened like I don't know if I want to talk about it. Like, all right, well, we can ease into this. What was their name? It was Goldie. It was my goldfish. 
And then she's like, all right, get the hell out of here. This kid's hopeless. I can't help him. And like, that's how I got out of it. Cause she's like, he's, he's even fucking with me. Like, <laughs> no, no, no therapy is going to help him. So what a, what a great perspective for a therapist to have. <laughs> nope. You are irreparably broken. <laughs> Well then, well then they sent me. Um, they uh, because I was getting, I wasn't in high honors, but I was in like honors, like straight A's and B's. They're like, oh, he's he's totally ready for college, and he's an asshole that we don't want on the premises. <laughs> so we're just gonna. Uh, so they graduated you early. Yeah. Well, well, they. Uh, it was because you know for they expelled you for half a. I was supposed to go a full year there, so instead of a full year, I went half a year to a anger management course that they had it was um in the basement you know north cook yeah you know what that was yeah that's that's what we did it was it was like a fucking hippie yoga teacher reminds me of the guy the hippie on beavis and butthead and he it was me and then a bunch of like white kids trying to be eminem doing yoga together i'm like yes breathe in breathe out there are no gangs in this world it's just you and the energy you know <laughs> it's Beautiful. Yeah. Also inaccurate. Right. Right. But the reason I wanted to bring up art class is I didn't get in trouble in sixth grade, but the art assignment was to make like a colored pencil drawing of a song, like what a song means to you, what the song's about. Pick a song and do a drawing for it. And I picked Janie's Got a Gun by Aerosmith. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> and so my colored pencil drawing featured a tombstone on fire so like a burning cross and like this samara looking you know chick from the ring looking figure crawling from the grave and it was i guess a darker piece of art <laughs> and at the end of the year you had to pick <laughs> You had to pick one piece of art from like the course during the year that like represents you that you want to showcase. And I said, Mr. Dinus, I want to showcase this colored pencil drawing. And he said, No, no, absolutely not. So I think I think I was misunderstood as a boy. You know, I had a I had a similar experience my uh my senior year of high school in a creative writing class. Um my writing has always been a little bit on the darker side of things, particularly being uh, being bullied in high school. And I wrote a short essay that that went into like the end of the year, you know, like storybook for the class. That was stream of consciousness of a of uh, of a kid who is bullied, who who shoots and kills somebody who steals a cigarette out of his mouth. <laughs> and and that that did warrant a uh, a quick talking to by by our teacher Mr. Potter who who is a wonderful teacher and like the nicest guy in the world but he was pretty concerned. <laughs> He's like, "Hey, everything's okay. I've been reading what you've been writing. <laughs> like, you're all right." <laughs> like, "Yeah, I'm fine." And I think the I think what kind of spurred that is we had him, I had him my last semester, 8th period, and he would never mark anyone absent. So, like We'd skip that class all the time and go like smoke weed in the parking lot and leave, yeah. and like that coupled with the super dark like <laughs> like writing that I was doing kind of kind of like sent off some signals. <laughs> <Is that Sure. laughs> but I'm <Yeah>. fine. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. This was this was pretty bad. I think this was one of the times where I really got Stubbs mad. Um, <laughs> His name is Brad. Okay, we we uh, so um before this, I actually um when I when I went to uh get my associates, I went to Triton, and there was a teacher there. Uh, she's not really cool with me anymore, but um, she she said that I was the best fucking writing student that she had. I I I, I sometimes get self conscious about it that I think I sound a lot dumber. Than when I'm right on paper, and it's happened many times where I'd write something and be like, "Dude, you fucking plagiarized this. There's no way you wrote this." You, even even when I when I um when I graduated uh four year college, I wrote five different papers for different people for money because I was like that good at writing. And but um uh I mean that's straying off topic. I never really got into it. But point is, so I had this class with this. Her name was Duda, 
uh she was yugoslavian and um we had um she was best friends with uh bob rock's girlfriend and that's how i met them but anyways we anyways i'm I'm in her class and she's like you know you're the best fucking um bob rock has a girlfriend yeah right weird Uh, but um uh so uh so my teacher she said that whoever wins the best writing thing gets to go on our college radio station and recite uh a poem or something or a piece of your writing and i suggested i'm like well hey i i'm not in the band anymore i had the same exact uh recorder that we're recording the show on i was like why not we start a like radio show and just and uh at the time podcasts weren't really that big so we just record a like a clip like this and then she'd put it on the college radio website so um i <laughs> She's like, well, what do you want to call it? I'm going to have my friend Sneza on it. And, and I guess they're both like super huge. So wait, it was Duda and Sneza? Yeah. Are, are these common Polish names or Yugoslav names? I, or? I, yeah, I don't know. It's. <laughs> but, sound like cartoon characters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they sound like the henchmen. Duda, Sneza. Duda and Sneza. Duda, Sneza, and Philip. Or like, <laughs> like, like the monsters that they sick on people like, Sneza, attack! So, well, no, it was Dubravka was the full name, and then Snezana. <laughs> oh, all right. Never mind that. So Dubravka <laughs> is one hell of a name. Right. That is one hell of a name. Well, so so she's like, well, what do you want to call it? I'm like, uh, I know you guys. I was like, I don't want to be offensive, but we're going to do it once a month, right? Poetry music show, right? Once a month, PMS. You know, why not call it that? And Super tasteful, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> well, well, they they thought it was that's clever, though. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fucking clever. The pizza place Will Patton worked at, if you ordered pepperoni, mushroom, and sausage, they'd put extra sauce on it because they thought it was funny. <laughs> anyway, well, continue. So, so, so <laughs> yes, yeah, so we ended up having this show, and I it was it was pretty cool. We we get I'd get like a few bands of like my friends, and we'd play their music on it, and it would go on college radio. But point is. I needed to find people since poet the P part the poetry part, I'd have, I'd have to find people to recite poems. Sure. Adela was on there and and recited one of her poems. But then Brad goes on there, and this reminds me I, I forget when when you were saying about your creative writing kind of like dark or whatever. Well, I have kind of dark writing. I never knew because I was raised in a Polish household. I never really knew the term glass half empty, or glass half full or whatever. I never knew that until like recently. So when we had the show, he wrote a poem called, like, Glass Half Empty. And I was like, oh, fuck. It's got something to do with those half fingers, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I asked him about it. And, yeah, that's when things kind of went south and he started to be friends with Ross. Sure. But you eventually learned the expression. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to name, uh, well, one of my albums on the electronic shit is Trash Half Empty. Ooh, so that's good. I like to think that the garbage bin is always, you know, trash half full. Oh, garbage dump. Oh, garbage dump. Dude, Why speaking are you called a garbage dump? dump. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're, no, we're all big Charles Manson that's, fans here. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, what good. The, that's what his flaming tombstone is singing right now, <laughs> the, the one that you drew. Yeah. That. <laughs> no, dude, that was for Janie because she died in vain. You don't get it. Mr. <laughs> Dynas didn't get it. No one got it. You know, uh, Gavin, I watched, um, this was kind of funny because I told him, like, you, you know, I kind of uh, encouraged him to be more creative. If you wanted to learn guitar, learn guitar. If he, he is amazing at writing. They they told us he's like two grades ahead as far as writing. He reads books quicker than me. I mentioned this. And he fucking... Um, we watched Donnie Darko, and it kind of yes. freaked him out. I love that movie, right? I I I love it because it's kind of reminds me of like sleeping disorder, you know, like a little bit, and, 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 yeah. And, that, and the the mindset that like weird like in between dream like yeah. dream and real life. I know exactly what you're the talking about. Aura, yeah, uh, yeah. I like it because it freaks little kids out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so he watched it, and then the next day, I pick him up from the after school program. And that's they kind of like it's just two supervisors and let, they let them run fucking wild and do whatever the hell they want. So Gavin was drew a rainbow, and then underneath it he wrote 
death in rainbow colors. <laughs> 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 and they're like, yeah, we need to talk to you about this drawing. <laughs> Should we be concerned about this? And, I, and then I asked him about it. He's like, I feel fine. I thought it was cool. <laughs> like, it is pretty cool, to yeah. be fair. Yeah. So, hey, uh, uh, <laughs> Albert Camus wrote a book called "The Happy Death." Uh, I don't know if that uh, that pertains at all, but that should be the cover for it. Yeah. Maybe not the subject matter, but. Uh,